Hello everyone, this is Lorraine and today I'm coming to you with my next nail of the day design and this is the finished result. Um, I've just used orange and white all the way through just to make it simple. I had the hardest time trying to decide what design and um, decide also what colors to use. Yesterday I thought I knew what colors I was going to use for today's design but then I received some um, Nanococo samples in the mail to review and that totally threw my decision making process for today's design off because the colors that I received were so great looking that I wanted to try them but then I had to figure out which of the colors they sent to try so I ended up deciding on the orange because it was just really bright and springy and just a really pretty color and I wanted to try out the formula because of the other Nana Cocos that I have I don't have any um, they're pretty much all metallic finishes so I didn't have any of these finishes so um, that's why I chose the orange and I thought orange and white would just be a great complement to each other or contrast or whatever so let me just tell you what I used so for the base coat I'm continuing to use my sash recondition um, I'm debating on if I want to try something else because I'm still experiencing some peeling. I mean, I've used not a whole lot of it, but a good amount of the polish. Well, I guess not even a good amount. It doesn't even seem like I use that much. But I have been using it on a regular basis. So we'll, I'll keep trying it and try to get through the whole bottle and see if it helps my nails. But for the colors that I use today... The one I was most impressed with is this Nana Coco Polish. This one is in the color Techno Orange, and it's a really beautiful um, neon orange jelly formula. Absolutely love this. Check out my polish review of this. Um, I need to find, I need to get more of the jelly formulas. Um... But anyway, this is the base color that I've used. I've just did an alternating mini, so every other nail is orange, and then I just did the opposite. So where my thumb here is white, my thumb here is orange, and vice versa. So for the white, I used China Glaze, um, white on white. I received this one in the um, Wait Till You See Ombre Kit. So, and I've been just been trying to find a good white, not the greatest white, but it's okay. But most whites all have the same problem. So what can you do? So just to make it simple, over the, over White on White by China Glaze, I stamped with um, the Conat Special Polish in Orange Pearl. And over um, the Nana Coco Techno Orange, I just stamped with the Conat Special Polish in White. And for my stamping design, I used the Dashika Beauty Shop Image Plates, Big SDPO. And I used two different designs. Both are on the same plate. So this is the design I started out doing. And I did this one over the white nails, basically, except for this one orange nail where I decided it didn't show enough of the orange because I really like the orange. So... For the orange nails, I switched over to use these two, these, this design. These are mirror images. So this is what I have on all the orange nails on my right hand and then my ring finger on my left hand. And I think it looks really great. It's a very clear image. It's like a perfect stamp. Excuse the lint on the tips of my nails. But that is what they look like. And continuing to use my IBD UV top coat. So that is everything I use. Check out my polish review video for the Nana Coco and the China Glaze White on White. Um, thank you for watching. Stay polished at all times. And have a great day. Bye. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and get started with my stamping. Today I had difficulty trying to pick a design. I have way too many designs to choose from. So I just picked something simple so I could just decide. And this is the design I'm going with because I want the orange to be the focal point. So I wanted something where 
the orange was going to show through more and this is what it looks like and because I'm rushing I kind of smudge the tip there but that's just going to have to just gonna have to do today so I'm just gonna show this quickly in white and then finish the rest because I'm just using the one design this time over each nail just alternating the colors I'm going to do the um, stamping of course orange over white and then white over the orange nails so hopefully I have better luck with this one and don't smudge it Okay, so that one turned out better. Still, I should have chosen a different design because the orange is not as prominent as I wanted it to be. So, um, I'm just going to stick with this because I really don't feel like doing something different. So, let me... Go ahead and um, so here is what the two look like. Sorry for the glare. There you go. That's the orange, and this is the white over the orange. So I will have still pictures at the end of the finished design. So thank you for watching and have a great day. Okay, so I decided to do something a little bit different for the orange nails. I'm going to use a different design, one that should allow the actual color to show through more. So, I'm applying that design, and yes, it does. And, of course, I am off. I swear, I'm having a really off day today don't know what's going on between having trouble just picking a design which that's really not unusual because I just have way too many plates to choose from but um, um, just not lining them up is not normal for me and I, I really do think it is the um, stuffing this my stamper into um, this stamper um, casing because I normally don't have trouble at all with lining them up lately they've been pretty spot-on until I've switched out my stamper casing. So I'm just going to quickly do this and then see if I can get this one lined up better. And oh, this would be my thumbnail because this is the one I've been having the most trouble with lining up lately. So hopefully, okay, good. That one did very well. So that I really like. It's a good amount of the orange showing through. So that's the second image, and I did the still continue the first one over the white nail. So that is actually it, and I will come back and show you the finished design. Thanks.